Hola, YouTube. My name is Ricardo Lino, and I'm a will addict. Today, I'm going to share with you the 13 YouTube channels related to skating that I watch the most. These 13 YouTube channels, none of them is like from a brand. Not meaning that I don't watch brand YouTube channels, I do, but I'm trying to bring just individuals that actually have an active YouTube channel. By the way, if you see someone moving in the back, that's Mr. Ido right here. <laughs> we got someone in house. And also, by the end of this video, I'm going to be opening this that just arrived last week from Amsterdam. But before I even show you that, stay with me and let's see these 13 YouTube channels that I watch the most. So, starting with the first one, I'm pretty sure you know who that is. Boom. This Week in Blade, Kevin B's Thompson. If you didn't know Kevin, basically, Kevin has been someone who's been uploading for... Check this out. No, it's not. In fact, if in case you also didn't know, this YouTube channel used to be the Bladers Union, the Blader Union YouTube channel. But Blader Union is not active anymore. So for some reason they froze their their platform. They used to have like a, a skating news platform, a, a skating app platform too, a app too, and they are now they, they they gave the the channel and the, the platform to to Kivon who's been uploading consistently basically I would say every week every now and then he, he he has a little break but he does as the name says these week in blade so he's telling you what's happening through the through the skating world but important for you to know that it's mainly related to aggressive skating okay it's an awesome channel it's quite funny and I'm pretty sure if you didn't know about Twib, you are going to enjoy this one. And you can also support This Week in Blade via their Patri Patreon page. So make sure to check it out. Second one. It's a bit different, but also a little bit si similar. So we got Wilson. And the reason why I like Wilson is because David... <laughs> Not only looks a bit like me, but also David has a he does something funny here. Let me show you what I'm trying to tell you. So basically, he has a couple of different types of videos. He got the um, the blading video. It says where he chooses a topic and he goes on that topic. Like he made something about the X Games. He made also a video about Stefan Alfa and why people why some people not like him or why he's the biggest rebel or something like that in skating. I like Stefano Alfano, but that's not what this video is about. It's about these YouTube channels. So he also makes Blade Shade, which is like something, I would say a bit similar to something we're going to speak in the, in the next, one of the next channels. But he also has these platform podcasts, which in my opinion is amazing. I really like these platform podcasts. I like how David can make the sometimes uncomfortable questions and it be, I think it it makes real good content so yeah 2920 subscribers it's it's going to grow a lot more cuz he's also been uploading a lot more and he also makes these reviews that he called them honest reviews so something that I actually like about this He actually made a video that you might like. Check this out. I'm telling you, he looks like me. Check this out. My bad. Wrong YouTube channel. Hola, YouTube. My name is Ricardo Lino, and I am a wheel. <laughs> now you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, second YouTube channel, Wheel Scene Blading. Make sure to check it out, too. Third YouTube channel. Here we go. This one is quite new. I roller boot. Honestly, I don't know the name of him. I don't know his name. I don't know the name of the skater that runs this YouTube channel, but he's amazing. 
this YouTube channel is kind of new. Look at this. He started, it says year 2020, but if you go on his videos, he actually started uploading about five months ago, skate-related stuff, five months ago. And he uploads quite regularly. He has a, he has a very distinct thumbnail, so it's, it's easy to find out when it's one of his videos. But also, the quality of the skating, it's amazing. He is a really good skater, especially if you like P-rails and technical skating on P-rails. He is amazing. So you're going to like his YouTube channel and he does his, I would say, like his reviews and he does a couple more things, which is quite cool. He, he plays with stuff on skates like wheel bite. He was trying to find the right wheels for him to get less wheel bite. And there's a couple of videos here. Not a couple, there's quite a lot of it, especially for someone who started uploading five months ago, that I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy this channel too. It's one of those that I actually watch pretty consistently. Next one, not a new one, but something that I really enjoy, especially the time that Butch put into making his videos. He He has a couple of different videos but if you like someone just like me now sitting down and talking he does a lot of that but he's also an amazing skater super skilled skater but at the same time the way that he goes around these themes for his videos are amazing so he's been doing stuff where he chooses one skater and he watches a couple of sections from those skaters and it's a cool channel, especially once again, if you are into into aggressive skating, like the real essence of aggressive skating, like all those grinds and that classical style of aggressive skating. Now, if you want to look into something that also has a lot of aggressive skating, but these guys are pioneers and that, that's got to be mushroom blading. That's my fifth, yeah, my fifth YouTube suggestion for you and none of these this is not in order it's not from the best to the worst or the worst to the best nothing like that these are just 13 youtube channels that i watch very consistently and i'm going to before i even speak about mushroom blading i'm just going to say that i'm pretty sure there's a youtube channel that it's not here that you enjoy and there's a lot more that i also watch maybe just i don't watch them as much as i watch these or maybe they're not as consistent as these creators so if you have any other youtube channel that you watch consistently please leave the comment with that link in the description of this video so that more people can go and watch them they might like those channels more than this the whole idea with this video is to to put in a place where there's a lot of youtube channels and people can just find out the type of content that they like the most so back to mushroom blading I really like what they do and I really like what they did. In my opinion, they are probably the main reason why people nowadays use big wheels, honestly, because these guys, since since I, since I watched their first videos, they, they had a very distinct, different style of skating, mainly with aggressive skates at first. And then they started bringing they started mixing their style of tricks with bigger wheel skates, like at first with the Seba skates and and doing a lot of stuff with Leon. Leon was the distributor for Seba, he still is the distributor for Seba and now FR in Canada. And they had access to different skates that a lot of the aggressive skaters didn't. So they started playing with slalom skates, then they started mixing stuff. And nowadays, they, I really think that they created something very, very unique and very, very important for the the skating scene and the skating, the level of skating that we have in 2022, if that makes sense. So this is a must. You need to subscribe to Mushroom Blading. I still don't understand our channel that started in 2006 and they are very consistent with their uploadings as 15,000 subscribers. This should be multiplied by 10, honestly. And at the same time, they also do something that you might enjoy because they, they upload consistently, but they are also very consistent with their Patreon. They do a lot of exclusive content for their Patreons, for their patrons. So if you want to have access to some of their content, you might need to pay, but they also make a lot of free content. Very cool channel. Now, the next one, it's someone that started skating not a long time ago, and you might not know that. Nicola Torelli. You might have seen him on Instagram. 
you might have seen him here on YouTube. But this YouTube channel is quite interesting. He has close to 10,000 subscribers with only 11 videos and he doesn't post regularly. He honestly doesn't. But whatever he does, it's just, it's just amazing. People really love what he does, including myself. And you can see like the third video that he posted, 225,000 views. First video that he ever posted like one year ago, 45,000 views, 44. And he doesn't even, again, the last video he posted was two weeks ago, then two months ago, then six months ago. He doesn't post regularly, but when it does, it's something amazing. I, look, I love the visuals, the music that he chooses, and obviously the level of skating. And again, Nicholas is some, Nicola is someone that didn't start skating a long time ago. I remember three years ago, it was just like, kind of like in the beginning of his thing. And nowadays you see him skate and it just, just looks good, in my opinion. Then the next YouTube channel, well, if you didn't know that, once again, you should. Back to blading. Lawrence is someone that was a very important person for skating in the late 90s, early 2000s. He's one of the, he was one of the owners for 5050, which was one of the first skate brands to make UFS frames. They also used to make frames for the USD thrones back in the day. They made frames for, they, made, they had a collaboration with Remedies, the now called Rams, almost not, not called anything nowadays, but anyway. And Lawrence, he, he also had a distribution back then, but slowly started fading away from skating. And in 20, let me see, I think maybe 2017, 2016, he got back to skating. And when he got back to skating, he started. He decided to start uploading videos and sharing his, his experience while getting back to skating and finding out about the whole scene again and the products and all that. And this is an amazing channel. Like, you can see Lawrence getting better and better and better. And he's not the youngest skater out there, just like me. He's a bit older, but it doesn't matter. He's just amazing to see, it's amazing to see him get deeper and deeper in skating and of course he got 50 50 back and he got a couple more brands and the distribution and all that it's it's quite a cool channel to, to i wouldn't say not quite it's like it's a really cool channel to to follow especially if you are in the same place because there's a lot of people that are getting back into skating and they really relate to what lawrence is doing so back to blading 16.3 thousand subscribers a very cool channel to also make sure you subscribe the next one the next one is kind of new but in my opinion at this exact moment one of the most important channels for skating and that is tom Moyes. tom Moyes is from the uk and he's one of the funniest guys in skating in my opinion it's like especially at making skating content but he's doing something that it's extremely important for the skating industry at this moment. He's mainly doing content about aggressive skating. He, he puts a little bit of big wheel every now and then. But the, what he's been doing is like, he's been putting a, a couple of truths out there, but because he put them with some, let's just say with a bit of comedy in it or with a lot of comedy in it, you can say the truth that we need to hear but because of the way that he puts it out, it doesn't get it doesn't get judged, if that makes sense. So it's actually a very, in my opinion, a very important channel. He's also like he's been doing an ama amazing content. So from like these trend forecasts to these, um, this was very cool. This one, what is it? These trick violations, basically telling people, well, you know, you shouldn't be doing this, but you still are. So stuff like that. I really like what Tom has been doing. And again, he didn't start uploading a long time ago. He started uploading, if I'm not mistaken, like about one year ago. For a couple of months, he was working with Blader Union, but then he got back on very consistently uploading on his channel. And nowadays, he's, he's on a mission, man. Check this. 16 hours ago. Five days ago, 11 days ago, two weeks ago, two weeks ago. So he uploads very consistently. And from what I've seen in the last video, he also started mating, making exclusive content for Patreons. So if you like what he does, if you want to support what he's doing, that's also a very cool channel to follow. 2,000 
and 730 subscribers. For sure, it's going to grow a lot more. The next one, another one, very important. I think they're all important for us. But this one, we needed it. And these guys came on the right time. The Jump Street Podcast. Two pro skaters, Austin Paz and Billy O'Neill, started a podcast. And they are now going on episode, I think it's 120. Let me check. Yeah, episode 120. They had, they've been having a lot of guests from all over the world. I was a guest... Let me see. I don't even know. I think it was episode 40-something. Let me just check. I was the guest on episode 43 two years ago. It was in October 2019. And they keep on going. So amazing. I really love what they're doing. It's cool to see these two guys that could be doing anything else related to skating, putting so much of their time into creating content and they're very respected by the whole core scene and that makes it amazing because they actually get very, very, very good guests from the the first people to ever skate to the the newest kid on the block that it's actually the coolest sometimes. So I really like what they're doing and make sure to also subscribe to Jump Street Podcast if you're not yet. They are also extremely active with their Patreon and something that you might not know is like with their, with their Patreon, of course, they, they make a little bit of money and they put it back into what they're doing. So just for you to have an idea, when I was in New York, they were like picking me up on one side, leaving me on the other side, all paid like with their taxes and they paid all the taxi fees and everything with their Patreons and all that. I like what they're doing, honestly, if that makes sense. So yeah, next one. Also someone that has been very active in skating for a long time. Jan Welsh. So Jan Welsh, he used to have, I don't know if it was a magazine. Yeah, it was Scribe. What was it? What was the name of Jan Welsh stuff? Do you remember? Uh, uh, it's not Scribe. Um, Jan Welsh magazine was called Before Being... Scum. Scum Magazine, yes. So he used to have Scum Magazine. It was like an ops uh, website and they had something else, honestly. I don't want to say anything wrong. But I know that Scum Mag ended up getting him a spot at, at Daily Bread. He used to work for Daily Bread. He started his own distribution with two pro skaters, John Elliott and Brian Shima, called Red Tail. They had a couple of brands such as 4x4 Wheels and... Neem skates and a couple more stuff. They were very, very active in that part of skating. But Jan has also been a video maker for way too long. He made some of the best videos of all time, like Leading the Blind and a couple more videos that he made. And on this YouTube channel, he's been doing very cool stuff. Basically, he's been going through a lot of his old tapes with all these pro skaters from early 2000s. And he's been posting raw footage. He's been remastering some of those sections that he did back in the day he's been doing some podcasts with very cool people one of them funny enough which i think it's the one that had the most success was billy o'neill billy also has a podcast billy works for a brand but it was cool to have jan interviewing bill and yeah i think it's one of the podcasts with the most views this this is quite new this youtube channel he started uploading let me see. I think it started a couple months ago. I don't even know. Let me check. If I go here on the about, it says 2021. September 2021 and is right now 2.58. Yeah. 2,580 subscribers. Very cool from Yen. And I'm pretty sure it's going to grow a lot more. But I'm actually very curious to see newer stuff from him too and i'm pretty sure he's going to be putting out new stuff so very cool channel to follow this is channel number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we got three more to go so this one he started before me he's been active for way too long he lives in new zealand and that's brandon drummond brandon brandon's channel i don't want to say that it was a bit lost but it was something that he was posting a bit of a lot of things but there was nothing that was really picking up until he started making these 
Blader News. And when he started making the Blader News that he does every single week, that's when people started paying a lot more attention. And then Brandon kept on doing his vlogs, his reviews and all that stuff. And people started paying attention to that after this Blader News started picking up. And it's quite cool because he puts a lot of time into his stuff. And you can see he's active. He, he has a Twitch channel. He, he is active on Patreon. He has like a clothing brand. And I like what he does. And especially if being from the part of the world where he is. Just like me, I'm from Portugal. If it wouldn't be for the internet, it would be harder for us to have our content out there. So awesome. I love what Brandon does. And it's been growing. He's close to 20,000 subscribers. He's been active here. Look, the channel started 2011, and it never stopped. So, really cool. Keep on going, Brandon. Next YouTube channel, probably the biggest one of all of these that I've been talking about, and is another one a bit like Brandon, and that is Flow Skate. Well, if you haven't watched this channel in the past, this channel used to be Shop Task Channel, because the guys, the the guy that started this channel was Sean, and Sean works or used to work at ShopTask in Canada. He's from Canada, of course, and he used to make a lot of tutorials, which he still does, and a lot of different videos, but when he started making these videos called The Flows, that it's him and his friend Alex, one filming the other, always super well filmed, usually with a gimbal, very stabilized, and two guys skating the city or skating whatever they choose, but it's mainly big wheel skating, but Sean has a background in aggressive skating, so a lot of control. And these two guys, they make games against each other, they cruise the city, they, they do amazing content. And when they started this, that's when their channel really picked up. And it picked up to the point that they got a couple of videos that I think right now they have a couple of videos over a million. They have a video with like almost 3 million views. So if, you, if you're curious about this, make sure to go check flow skate with alex and sean and they they have their own merchandise they do some amazing tutorials i learned a couple of tricks with with sean like the gazelle i've learned it from sean and yeah there's always stuff that you can that you can learn and pretty sure it's something if you want to show skating to someone some of their videos it's an, an awesome type of content for you to show to someone when they want to see what's been What's being done with inline skates in 2022. Now, the last one, it's like a pioneer, man. <laughs> so it's the original YouTuber, also from Canada. Here you go, Mr. Bill Stoppert. I was with Bill also in 2019. Let me see if I go here on home. I think there's a video here that I was. Yeah, that was two years ago. <laughs> so he's someone that he travels a bit. He mainly skates in Toronto, but he travels a bit and he meets like local skaters from other parts of the world or when locals from other parts of the world visit Toronto, they tend to meet Bill. And Bill just is the original guy that used to film with a selfie stick and a GoPro and nowadays he does a lot of his videos with a, with a 360 camera. But he is important in, for uh, the skating scene, in my opinion. He's someone like, he's on high 40s, 50s. I, I don't really know, but it doesn't look like it. He has that hockey skating background. And he's just that person that very energetic, always cruising the city. And it motivates you and hopefully a lot more people to, to get on skates. He mainly skates with, with big wheel skates. He ventures a little bit with aggressive skates every now and then. He will do stuff with ice skates too and all that. But it's someone that it's really focused on creating more and more and more content and meeting more people. So also, in my opinion, one of those very cool channels. And Bill has his very own type of comedy. So it's a good channel. You need to watch it. And with that being said, that's the last channel that I wanted to show you guys. Again, this is not the best 13 channels. It's the 13 channels that I watch the most. That doesn't mean they're the best. It's just the ones that I watch the most. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there that also have YouTube channels or that they know another YouTube channel. They think it's extremely important for the skate scene. Well, make sure to drop me a comment with that. I know that sometimes YouTube may block some of those comments, but I'll make sure to manually unlock every single one of them because I want more people to know about 
your YouTube channel or your friend's YouTube channel or your favorite YouTube channel. And now, just to finish this video, let me just open this. It came from a guy that you've seen a couple times here on this channel. He has a brand. It's called Three. This brand is for Am from Amsterdam and they make Oh wow, wait. Let me see if I took everything. Wait, give me a second. Let me see if there's something else inside. Okay, they make stickers. It's very cool. What is that? <laughs> That's like a crazy animal here, huh? I love it. They got these three stickers. Let me see if it doesn't get like the another one here with an elephant. I know that they, they released a new shirt with this logo. Then other than that, what else did he got here? Let me try to. Uh, so Vibaud and Ilya. Oh. So Vibaud, he was, ah, oh, let me open this in a second. He was in, in Sinj, where I got the studios and the park and all that, a couple months ago. And he knows that I love my shirts big. So he made like a big shirt right here. New logo. Three logo in the front. It's a long sleeve. This one is a... Oh, come on, I want to see the size. Double extra large, cool shirt, all black. I'm gonna be using this in one of the next videos, so you'll see more of that shirt. Now, let me see what's in those two boxes. One box, two boxes, let me see. On one of them is, a keychain and some all black Bearings. I don't know what bearings are these. Let me see. The black bearings are. Hmm, does it say somewhere? Okay. These are A back nine bearings. The black bearings are A back nine bearings. All black. And then on the other box, we got. It looks like jewelry, huh? More A back nine bearings. Oops. And according to Vibaud, these are like the most affordable A back nine bearings that you'll find. So if you're looking into some A back nine bearings, or if you're looking into some skate loading brand that you know that it's based in in Amsterdam, make sure to check three. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna leave the link for three in the description. So as I'm going to leave the links for every single one of the YouTube channels that we just spoke about. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, I know it's a quite long one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're not yet, you can always become a member if you want. You'll get access to some exclusive content. You can also become a patron if you prefer. But <laughs> is that a cat? <laughs> Let me show them the cat video from yesterday. I need to show you a cat video before anything. This just need to show you a cat clip from yesterday. And after that, we can finish this video. Check this out. This was yesterday. Wait. I oh, need to see it. Come on with sound. And that's my cat. So I said, I said it roll, it rolled. Now I tell you, subscribe to my channel. Let's see if you guys will. Let's see if my voice is actually doing something. Now with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget why we all started skating. And that is because it's fun. And make sure to check the guy in the back <laughs> website. Make sure to check edogoods.com. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Someone.